Greetings, fellow coders. Today, I'm diving into the fascinating world of decision-making in programming. Please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Let's start with the basics. A Boolean expression evaluates to true or false. Statements in an else clause execute when a tested condition is false. An expression that uses a greater than operator evaluates as true when the left operand is greater. If a Boolean expression always has the same value, it is described as trivial. For example, 4, 3 is always true, so it is trivial. If x equals sign y is true, then x um y is false. If jk is true, then jk might be true. In an AND condition, the most efficient technique is to first ask the question that is least likely to be true, so that the most likely scenario is that the second condition does not have to be tested. For example, you might use an IF statement to check if a number is positive. If A is true and B is false, then a AND B is false. If P is true and Q is false, then P or Q is true. If X 10, then. If Y is 10, then. Output X. End if end if. Both decisions must be true for X to be output. So the nested decision is equivalent to if X 10 and X R Y, then output X and D. For example, if you're writing a grade calculator, you can use if, else if, and else statements to determine a student's grade based on their marks. Correct. If condition A is more likely to be true than condition B, then you should test condition A first in an OR decision. Because if condition A is true, there is no need to test condition B. The value of A can never be both less than 10 and greater than 40 at the same time. So a 10 and a 40 is a trivial expression that is always false. The value of E can never be both greater than 10 and less than 7 at the same time. If G is 12, then G15 is true. And if G is any other value, then G12 is true. So G12 or G15 must always be true. If department is 8, it is not less than 5. So the result is not small underscore raise and the first else clause executes. Then department is less than 14. So raise is set to medium underscore raise and the second else clause does not execute, so department 9 is never tested. If department is 10, it is not less than 2, so the result is not small underscore raise, and the first else clause executes. Then department is not less than 6, so raise is not set to medium underscore raise, and the second else clause executes. Then department is not less than 10, so raise is not set to big underscore raise. Therefore, raise holds whatever value it held before this nest is mistaken. Can, and it is impossible to tell what that was. With a range check, you can compare a value to the highest or lowest value of the range. The true expression is sales, equal sign expenses, and range is 1. If A is true, B is true, and C is false, then A or B and C evaluate to true or false. If D is true, B is false, and F is false, then B or E is true. videos like this to see other videos from this channel please click the circle on the bottom right if you found this video helpful give it a